need to collect Clint's business tax. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Look, man, the taxation isn't that bad, okay? Hey, coal, that's useful. Can I get something else? <laughs> Hi, bird. Yes, I came into your house randomly. Okay, I spent a thousand bucks on salad. <laughs> Pretty much a rice addict. Very nice. What kind of rice are we talking here, though? Jasmine rice? Sticky rice? Like, you can't just have eats rice in your name. You need to give us some details here. If it's rice, I eat it. Very nice. This bat is trolling me. What? <laughs> it knows. Well, wow, Gunter's gonna be fucking creaming his pants with all the stuff I'm finding out here. Wow. <laughs> and the fucking Omni Geode gives me coal. Alright, I have to donate my entire inventory to this museum. That's two rewards. Three rewards. Four rewards. I don't think the Geode Crushing Sound says anything and there's nothing on the wiki about it, but saying it means rarity or whatever. I just think it's cool. It, it definitely has some meaning of rarity because you only get the thung whenever you get something bad. <laughs> I love how before it says Gunter might be able to tell you about it if you donate to the museum. And now it says, a shimmery blue-green gem. Like, I can see that, mate. Wow, I love rocks. And I love... drum. I'm sure there are some metals that if you ingest them, just like, by themselves, it doesn't do anything bad to your body. And I don't think copper is one of those. <laughs> Doing my best, like, Barry 63 impression, apparently. Nor Isis just don't like them. That's what they say and still die of alcoholism. True? Because they were weak, obviously. Drink every day and you'll develop a tolerance and you won't be weak. Have the ability to stop drinking at any time and actively choose not to. They don't even touch. Cringe. That was fun, time to go home. Yeah, I drank on the side. Ooh, oh, dude, don't make me make this choice. You can respec, okay. I'll make out Tiller then. I don't even check what the kind of day it was gonna be today, but judging by the star counts, I'd reckon that uh, it's a pretty good day on the spirits. Oh, neutral. Okay. Wow, it just feels nice that the day is not being actively shit. Drinking bin juice like... Oh, hello. Oh! Yes! Mushrooms. You can get the fruit from trees, but the mushrooms, that's free money. This right here, that's the good shit. Hey, guys. <laughs> that was surprisingly ineffective. Glowstone? Minecraft reference? For the Stardew Valley Tribune, we're impressed with your quick progress. I have never received this before. Dude, what the fuck is this fish? <laughs> Ooh, there was like a special thing around it. I got driftwood. <laughs> wow, four inches, that's pretty long. Oh, of course, how could I forget? He's working on my steel pickaxe by fucking standing right there. He can't take five seconds break to come back and like, you know, break one geode open. I wonder what the maximum number of things you can get from a treasure chest is. Because it gives it the full chest slots. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we just made a ton of money. What the fuck? <laughs> one day of fishing, by the way. Hey, Elliot. Do you want to chat? Do you want to... Do anything? Are you just gonna stare at the dock on the other side? Hands off the keyboard. Hands off the mouse. Damn it! <laughs> the fish heard me. I'm down for a good dick joke. But, you know, for a good one, the setup is long, they're pretty hard to do, and you really gotta have the balls to do it. Love this chatter. Asks where I'm from, immediately leaves. Whoa, this fish is jittery. Oh my god, it's the fucking troll fish. Please be something cool. A pike. What did he mean by that? You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm. Bro, I do not grow weed. Okay, I wanna know what's in you. Ah, diamonds. A rare and valuable gem. Thanks, Gunter. I was saying I'm more tired than I thought I would be, and I think that's because I had to spend an hour inside Service New South Wales today. Place to get driver's license and stuff. Yeah, all the government paperwork place. I was there because my license got suspended, Lamal. Not for like a, not for like a, a, a cool reason though. <laughs> it got suspended because I'm registered ADHD person, and so I need to have a psych appointment basically saying, yeah, should be right, every couple years, and I hadn't handed my document in. And so like, lol, get fucked, no driving for you. Because Ritalin is a controlled substance, like, they need to be able to like, 
have my license in a database that says, yeah, you found Ritalin in a system? Yeah, that's actually fine. Almost all of my content is powered by controlled substances. Hey, red mullet. Most Aussie gingers have... <laughs> Hot pe come on! The one item that I couldn't buy. Uh, oh my god. This fucking fish! It, it was a fucking pike. Okay. I hate pike. I hate this fucking area. Why is it always pike? I'm taking so much damage! Die! Why would this ghost fuck off? Take damage, you fucker. Thank you, finally. This one floor is actually gonna delay me so much. Get juked, idiot. The amount of salad I'm consuming right now. Passing out in the mines is gonna be worth it, if I can get the bottom floor. I got a master slingshot, but that's not good. Now let's see if he likes a cool rock. What is this? Bruh, it's a rock. You're a scientist. Scientists fucking love rocks. There are no enemies on this level. That's really weird. Come on. Look at this fucking thing. Die! Right. At least I have the cash to play for, pay for the doctor's visit. Wow, this is very close. I'm gonna pass out in front of my house, aren't I? Yep. And... Bonk. Okay, just minus 200 gold, that's fine. Shit, I have 14 frozen geodes. <laughs> just fill my infantry, honestly. Not with that. Okay, honestly, the coal is worth. Nice luck, spirits! Nice luck, spirits! Okay. I have all of these. I have all of these. I hate this game. What the fuck? I mean, either way, good to get rid of them. I'll just dump all this fucking stuff into the uh, output chest. Whatever it's called. Hey, cookies again. We are so back. Ah. Oh, that's right. One of these bugs. Hey, Marnie. Hey, look at this. Wrong person. <laughs> Put them on. Yeah, yeah. Why does she make a bat noises, though? Wait, do the other ones despawn when I do this? That's fine, I can do another one. Yeah, the game, but it's not. Yeah, I know it's not. I know there's post-game. Well, it's not really post-game. To be fair, you can consider any point in the game the end of the game if you simply put it down and never play it again. Yeah. I, I don't know what the advertising companies think of me, but I only get ads for gambling and alcohol. <laughs> I would make a joke about Finland, but I actually don't know if the Finns have a gambling stereotype or not. It's fun that Australia's in Eurovision. Apparently we might be getting kicked out, which is pretty sad. It's not something that I particularly follow, if only because we keep losing. Eurovision is kind of a Europe thing. Yeah, it really is. And there, there are certain ways that it, in which it is extremely European. So SBS, which is one of the national, like the government run, one of the government run networks, TV networks, has a deal with the guys who run Eurovision. And their deal went from 2015 to 2023. In the case of an Australian win, we'd have to nominate a European country to host on our behalf. What the fuck, man? That's so scam. If we win and like we have to get like a um like pick a host country, we need to pick like some fucking weird country. Yeah. I mean, like Eurovision isn't our main sort of pastime. Our main pastime is beat is beating the British at everything. Well, I mean, it's basically our job. It's the colony's job to turn around and fucking beat the shit out. <laughs> Have you ever an ice cream called Gay Time? Yeah, it's called a Golden Gay Time, and they're pretty fucking good, to be honest. Love a good gay time. <laughs> I like how the fact that we have gay times is slowly approaching the fact that we have kangaroos as like the thing everyone knows about our country. We've kind of asked someone, do you want a gay time? Yeah, it, you do that a lot though. It's also fun because I have a bunch of queer friends and so it's like, do you want a gay time? And then you hand them ice cream and they're disappointed. The food is weird. It's, yeah, <laughs> can't really deny that. We're gonna do a small quantity of trolling. A lot of weird food too and a lot of random facts. I only know about like, Sistroming, or however you pronounce it, and um, and snus, which doesn't really count as a food. Once upon a time, you opened part of Africa. That's true of every European country, though, isn't it? Once upon a time, you owned Norway. Yeah. <laughs> Sound of Swedish regret. Denmark, Finland, and Norway at the same time. I mean, we still have a clause in the constitution that says that New Zealand can join us at any time if they want to. Don't think it's ever going to happen, though. They seem like they're pretty happy. The question is, do I put these in the luau? She's unresponsive? <laughs> That's not the phrasing I would have used. Oh, I can't leave. Shit. I, I, I guess it's going in the soup then. <laughs> Bad to cause a scandal. I've never done this, so this is gonna be funny. There's something in my bowl, what's this? 
This is so based. If I remember correctly, Australians were the first group to, to defeat all three Axis powers on land. So the Italians and the Germans. And then the Kokoda track stopped the Japanese. You guys lost to emus. Yes, so clearly this analysis is proving that emus are stronger than Nazis. I joined the emu war on the emu side, so we're good. 